Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Mike, and I'm here at the Airbnb. But I've got some tunes for you today. Actually, I've got some information about this car. It's a great, just all around like jumping car. You want to do some crazy off road jumping? This is the car you want to be in. It is the 1986 Hoonigan Ford RS 200 Evolution. It says the Hoonigan RS 200 is a recreation of Ken Block's real life Ford RS 200, featuring an upgraded engine with power increase from 506 horsepower to 750 that is mated to a six speed gearbox for higher top speed. Suspension is modified with coil over shock absorbers on both ends, while the wheels are changed to custom 18 inch 1552 rims on Toyo tires. Both the exterior and interior have been altered. The Hoonigan RS200 rocks suede upholstery in the interior and has a gloss black paint that's partially covered by matte black vinyl with a stripes design. It looks, looks bad as fuck too. So the performance due to the short wheelbase and weight of less than 2,500 pounds, the Hoonigan RS200 has great maneuverability on corners and is easy to control while drifting. Fair points. The powerful engine gives the car 0 to 60 time of 2.5, 0 to 100 of 4.9, allowing it to outpace its rivals on corner X's. The strong handling and quick acceleration make it a top contender for dirt races and PR stunts and Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Horizon 5. Unlike the RS200 Evolution, the Hoonigan RS200 has two engine swaps available and standard racing slicks that provide tons of grip on dirt routes. It does not offer any other tire compounds. Uh, let's see here. So basically, I have two builds for you. I have a max build, which is just fun for S2 jumping, S2 drifting, S2 anything you want to do. It's just a fun car. You want to drive around and get some mastery points or whatever it's called. You can do that in this car. But I also have an S2, or excuse me, I have an S1900 build. So I'm going to take you to uh, both of those builds and give you the share codes. You can actually use the S1900 build right now, and it dominates, dominates the losses. So let's get right to it. So we'll start here with the, the max version, which is the S2986. Uh, the custom upgrades we start with the conversions it is the 7.2 liter v8 it's the stock all-wheel drive with the twin turbies engine upgrades we've got the race fuel race ignition race displacement race twin turbies race intercooler race flywheel platform and handling we've got the racing brakes the race uh, excuse me the stock spring and dampers and the race weight reduction tires and rims we've got the rally compounds with the 305 millimeter fronts and the 305 millimeter rears i suppose for was horizon 5 they added tire compounds they just said they didn't have different tire compounds but clearly we do I'm using the lightest rims possible from stock these ones that i'm running are under the sport rim style i really like these it's the Speedline Corsa, or the Speedline Corsa F1s right there. They are negative 13 pounds. Any negative 13 pound work. And we're using the stock 18, stock 18s front and back. For an appearance, got the race front bumper and the race rear wing. So let's go into the custom tuning. It's 23 and a half, 21 and a half PSI tires. 75 final drive 414 267 182 133 one even 0.836 gear alignment negative one negative 0 0.500 0 0 0.6.5 front caster angle 9.1 15.5 anti roll bar springs 177 3 8190 that's the damping arrows all the way towards downforce front and rear brakes Untouched differentials 100 0 100 0 65 percent center balance now. This is a ton of fun Let's just take it for a quick 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 drive and then I'll show you the s1900 build which is possibly more important right because You might actually do some some off-road racing in an s1 car. So Let's see what this beast can do 
for some drifting for you. Just destroy it. Move head straight off road over to that jump. Well, it's actually a mountain. We'll just jump it. Because we can, right? The thing is just fun. Period. It's just fun. Period. Some of the sickest jumps in game will make an accident just driving this car around. And look at all those mastery points, or what do they call it? Skill points. Look at all the skill points just driving. Alright, so let's get out of here. Let me show you the S1900, which is actually more important, and you can use it this event. This this season right now we are in spring season of Ryzen Road Trip series. This event, so we're to use it for S1900 Rally Monsters right there at the Gauntlet. I know I said Colossus earlier. This thing dominates on the Gauntlet. So uh yeah, let me show you that build and then we'll get out of here. Do I have a separate car for that? I think I have a separate car for it. Same car, but a separate car for it. Let's take a look and see. I think I keep both of them on deck. Yeah, there we go. I keep them both on deck. That's how much I use them both. So we'll switch to the S1900 version. And we'll show you the upgrades. Goes into the build. We'll start with the conversions. As always, it's stock powertrain. Stock drivetrain, stock cam and valves, stock engine block, stock turbo, stock restrictor plates, race flywheel, stock brakes, stock spring and dampers, stock weight reduction. This car starts at S2, I believe. And we've got the race transmission, race driveline, race differential, rally tire compounds. 275 18s in the front, 305 18s in the back. Rims are stock. Rim size 18 in the front, 18 in the back. Those are stock as well. From bumper stock, rear wing is stock as well. So let's take a look at the tuning. Custom tuning is 26 pounds front and rear, 260 final drive for a 221.9 miles per hour. 4.35 first, 2.65 second, 1.95 third, 1.55 fourth, 1.30 fifth, 1.14 sixth. The alignment negative 0.5, negative 0.5 is the camber toe, 0, 0, 0, 0. And the front caster angle, 6.5 degrees. Anti roll bars, 9.1515.5. Springs, 187.8. Damping, 819.1618. Arrow is locked. Lock differential 18.5432863. I'm gonna think a lot of that stuff stock, but it just dominates like this. So let's prove it. I'm gonna actually just take it into that race, the Colossus. I'm not gonna record the whole race, but we'll just go there and just dominate that race for a second so I can show you what we're talking. Where are we? Gauntlet. Let's get it, gauntlet it. All right, let's go. Just got an Elite 2 today. I'm so excited to be driving with this thing. So originally these buttons here is like B and Y, so that one is shift and that one is rewind. I switched it out so both of those are shift up, both of those are shift down. So much, so much easier to drive that way. Imagine, I don't ever use rewind, but I, God, I'd be so pissed if I tried to shift and I hit rewind. I'd be mad. No, I don't take it seriously at all. Not sweaty at all. What do you mean? All right, here we go. It's the gauntlet. The gauntlet, the gauntlet. Right, so my name is Mike. You can catch me on Twitch at still NFAC, that's one word, and on YouTube at not fooling around crew, that's two words. Let's just take a quick picture to get some of these cars in here. Nice. Let's see if I
That's it. All right, cool. Yeah, my name is Mike. You can catch me on Twitch. It's still N F A C. That's one word. And on YouTube at Not Fooling Around Crew. That's two words. You can also join me at the Not Fooling Around Crew Discord server. There's a link to that in my bio. And you can join the SNFA race team. In a lot of I just got this controller today, so. Yeah, everyone is welcome. God damn, I'm keeping And I'm hitting downshift instead of break. I'm all messed up now. The SNFA race team, everyone is welcome regardless of your skill level. And we actually do a bunch of events as our team. Uh, custom events on custom tracks all the time. So uh, if you want to do some custom events and have some fun being some people, join us at the Discord of the SNFA racing team. It's a lot of fun over there. We all talk tuning, racing, all that stuff. This, uh, oh, that's what it did. So I played around with the hair triggers. That's why my break feels so different. It's on hair trigger. Super short right now, and so is my throttle. Oh my god, that's what I did with the controller. I, I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it, it was, thought it made the bottom button shorter. No, it makes your trigger shorter. That makes a whole lot of sense now. I have them both on ear trigger. No wonder they feel so weird. I need to definitely change that. Nobody wants their throttle like that. Or the brakes, really. It's like full brake immediately. That's why it felt so weird I kept hitting the wrong button because it didn't feel like a break, you know, like just a click. It's like, oh, you're on. I thought I was downshifting, but it's actually just a break. It feels like that because I have the trigger set up wrong. There we go, just trust me that you can dominate the entire race with this car very easily. It's a 20 minute race, so you kind of want to make sure you're in something that's dominating. Because God forbid you don't dominate and you have to do it over again, that would be awful. So thanks for watching everybody, my name is Mike and I'm out.